Unlocking financial freedom, the corporate life strategies of millionaires. We're going to continue yesterday's conversation. So if you're cutting in on today and you missed yesterday, you want to grab that one first, then come right back here and follow it through because I'm going to teach you living employee life and corporate life and what are the mistakes. Let's go back and listen in. The next thing is credit cards. Credit cards and debt, they're critical. They are critical on how to learn to use them and how to arbitrage debt. So we teach that implicitly. So for example, if you can get debt at 0%, we can get a lot of, you know, we have lots of different funding sources. We have huge expert teams that do this. And they have, one of them has up to 500 lending sources. So if they could get you say $100,000 at 0% interest for 21 months, wouldn't you go use that and make a whole bunch of money? Let's just say you had 100,000, you could put it to work at 12%. So you make 12,000, that's a thousand a month. Well, so you add a zero. If you have a million, you put it to work at 12%, you're making 10,000 a month. And guess what? You're in debt a million dollars. You're in debt 100,000. But it's an arbitrage, meaning you know how to invest. So here's the trifecta I was talking about. How you make money as an entrepreneur allows you the greatest tax code in the world, anywhere in the world. So now you make it as an entrepreneur, you now have deductions, and then how you invest allows depreciation schedules against that income. So how does an employee who makes a lot of income win? They win against this trifecta of the strategy of putting it all together in one plan. See, the financial services world is intentionally segregated. They don't want all those people talking to each other. Like when is the last time you've ever talked to a corporate strategist? Probably not. And if you just bought a little LLC, you know, straight off the Secretary of State or the registry or wherever you got it, free and cheap or like small fee, you don't have the right documents to even get bank accounts, much less have operating agreements and paperwork is required around it. So you need to have all of it set. And then how does it associate to a trust? Where does your life insurance fit in? See, all of these experts are segregated intentionally. So you stand in the middle going, how do I put this together? And where's my playbook? Well, this is the start of six books that's a playbook to help you get this in line. And you know, in the beginning when I started doing this, I started sending you out to go find your own experts. Same problem. Do you know how many experts don't want to talk to each other? Because all they want is their fee and commission. Fee and commission, you know, bill you hourly. And who's helping you? Who's helping you glue it together? Who's helping you do the right resolution that this phone is legally written off, that your car is legally written off, that your kids are employed? properly. So we're the glue. We're the ones that are going to put this together behaviorally and show you how do you put it together? How do you put this plan together? And you're going to have the licensed experts around you, but they work as a team. What a novel concept. So debt and credit cards are critical. And our goal is never to retire you is to have a freedom day. So freedom day is how much money do you want to need when you want to call it and just say, I'm done. I have enough. Now, cash and cash flow are different. And I think a lot of you don't realize like I'm going to sell a company. I'm going to make a million dollars. You know, make people that come to me and say, I want to sell a company. I want you know, for a million bucks, I just had somebody come 1.8 million. And by the time we actually ran through the expert team through the tax structures and tax strategy of it, it's like, it wasn't set well to actually do it, or you're going to get taxed to pieces. And then where are you going to find the cash flow that can churn off the amount of cash you get per month that you actually don't have to do a lot of work for? So I'd say eight times out of 10, if somebody wants a big exit, we'll either help them restructure it for less taxes and do it right, which might take a little year or two to reset, or we help them stage a very different kind of a buyout so they're not killed in taxes. Because just because you sell, like I'll give you an example. I have a client that did this years ago and they thought for sure they could replace their storage unit income. And they were making an average consistently of 12,000 a month. And they had a huge buy come in, it's an Oregon property. Somebody wanted to buy it for millions of dollars. And they're like, I'm out, it's millions, that's cash. But what they were used to living on passively is 12,000 a month in cash flow. Do you know how difficult it is to have a lump of cash being taxed to pieces and now find cash flow? It's more challenging and more strategy than you think. And it's not just for the average common human. So that's why we have a whole team that we put around you as an individual to help support you. But Freedom Day is not difficult. It's different. And a lot of you, you're going to have lots of exits, right? You're going to be a millionaire in one category, and then you're going to get creative and curious, and you want to maybe go be a millionaire in another category. So where do you want to land in your journey to learn business and learn money? I'm not going to do it for you. I don't have a magic wand. I don't have any pixie dust that's going to like make you great. You're going to consume the content, and you're going to start behaviorally changing your life to live corporate life and then bring your kids into it. Like you don't have a personal life and a professional life. You have a life. It's called an integrated life. So bring them together and have inclusion. Start talking about it. It's why we do our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is phenomenal. And it's for any of your kids that are five and up. And we now have your YouTube learning journal. So every kid in your family should get one of these for the holiday. So what did you learn?
learn from the day, right? So it's what did you learn and what are you going to do? What did you learn? What are you going to do? And so you're going to consistently be working on a learning journal for you and your family to start bringing this conversation in to the household. This is not a school conversation. That's not where you're going to learn this. This is up to you, your legacy, your generational wealth. What do you want for you and your families? And that's why we're here to serve you. And then multiple year end strategies, meaning depending on when your companies close business, which all but the C Corp will close 1231 in the United States. It's different around the world. Some countries close in March, some countries close in June. So it depends on the year end in the country that you live in and that you're filing taxes. But in America, those companies that you own, they're gonna file taxes in September. And then you personally will file in October. So April is no longer a deadline that you're gonna worry about. And let's just talk about that tax refund you get excited about. Why'd you overpay the government in the first place that they're giving you a refund? And they made money on your money while well, you didn't get it? I think that's horrific planning and it's a hope and a dream and a guess. So as you see, living employee life isn't enough if you wanna create the wealth that we talk about here at Integrated Wealth Systems. You've gotta live corporate life. So from 18 and up, this is not about how much money you make, it's your intention. If you just wanna be a 100,000 heir, perfect. Then we'll help you get to a 100,000 heir. I would encourage you to at least become an accredited investor, which is someone who's making 250 as an individual or 350 as a couple, doesn't include your home. And are you a millionaire? Because then you can invest in all the alternatives. So again, this financial services world is designed to keep you segregated and keep you confused. So you wonder why 80,000 is still at the top 25% of income earners? I mean, come on, that's like not even close. So here's a startling statistics. If you make 100, you're in the top 3%. And if you make a quarter million, you're a one percenter. Well, do you know how many billionaires there are in the world? What percent are they in? Are they like the 0. 0.00001? See, all of you can do it. It's not difficult. It's just different. So what I want to do right now is I'm going to put a team around you and have a conversation to deep the absolute use of corporate life and trust life, deepen the use of insurance for generational wealth purposes, which is absolutely critical. And talk about the strategy sessions because those strategy sessions with our team, their job in the strategy session isn't to fix you, it's to problem solve, it's to identify the problems and how can we help you have a solution for the problems you have and move you to the next step. So it's really an assessment. We call it a gap. Where are the gaps in your life? You all have them, we all have them, right? Even at every level you play, you're gonna have gaps along the way that you just got to keep filling the gaps and keep looking towards your freedom day. So let's introduce my team and have a conversation deeper about corporate life, corporate structure, insurance, and how to put it all together and have some exits. So becoming a millionaire is not difficult. It's different if you want a three to five year plan. So let's go back to my team. So again, I hope you really understand. And at this point, I would love to put you in the comment section and say, do you want to live corporate life? The answer is yes. You stay on this channel. You grab the learning journal. You actually dig into the millionaire maker and you get going because I'm going to teach you to live not only corporate life, but become a millionaire in three to five years. If you just want to stay on the employee side, Dave Ramsey, Susie Orman might be better mentors for you because that's live within your means and stay safe and stable. And if you save enough in 20 or 30 years, you might make that millionaire status. That's not what we do. We're doing three to five, quick, 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 which means you got to start a company in addition to being an employee or just become an entrepreneur and be unemployable like I am. A lot of you, you will become unemployable. If you have any questions about this at any time, go to asklaurel.com, ask a question, make a request. More importantly, I want you to subscribe to this channel five days a week. I want you here every day watching these videos. And even more importantly than that, I want to give you two tickets, big gift to the Millionaire Intensive, where we dig into this for several hours and teach you what is the intensive of becoming a millionaire. We take this conversation of employee and corporate life, we blow it out for hours and really help you understand like a sort of logic and common sense that yes, you want to live corporate life. If not, stay poor. Don't whine about it, your choice. But we'll be back tomorrow with more Millionaire Strategies.